So here's B9. B9 has half square triangles in the corner, so we're going to put those together into a square first. And then I'll take the center square and then attach two, one to each side, so then it's like a bow tie. And then I'll be able to put these here. And then finally I'll be able to put those squares into the corners. So <clears throat> my basting is going to be relatively straightforward. These I'm going to baste with the legs first and then the hypotenuse so the tags will go away from the center on both of them. And for these, I will do, I will pick a direction, okay? And I will do, a, I don't normally do around the thing, but I will um, do these, the long sides first and then work my way around clockwise or counterclockwise, but I'm gonna do all of them the same way so that they lay better. And then my square, I'm gonna baste opposite sides and then opposite sides. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to baste my triangles and form them into squares. So I've basted and connected all four of the half square triangle corners and the background color, which is the black, is going to be pointing in towards the black square. So now I'm going to baste the center square and two opposite of these shapes and then put them together in a bow tie. So I've basted my center square and I've basted two of these shapes here. And what I did with this one is I basted here and then I did these two sides and then these two and then this one. And this one I did, let me put it this way, I did this one and then I went up this side and around and back to this. Now, I don't really like how loose this is here and this is not a really good, it's not sticking down as well as I'd like it to. So I flip it around on the front. On the front, it looks very similar, although this looks a little wider here than here. Basically, with these non 90 degree angles, you're not gonna get exactly on the corner every time. So what you do is do your best you can, and then when you go to sew it and find the edge, you can feel the paper corner in there. And so like this one is a little further on this side than this side, and this one's the same. So it's, yeah, this the fabric has, on this one, the fabric is built up enough to make the point look like it's further in. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm not going to change anything the way I basted either one of these, but I'm going to base the rest of mine like this, just because it was easier, and I think it's going to end up with a better result, but we'll see. So the next thing I'm going to do is connect these into like a bow tie thing. So I've connected all three pieces into this bow tie shape. Next thing to do is to baste these other two so I can get those into their place. So I've got one of these connected and I've got one more left. So I'm just going to slot this in here. But what I wanted to show you is because I'm doing a show quilt, I'm being real picky about my thread color and every seam. And so here where the black and the green meet, I'm using my black, but here where the green is on green, I'm actually using a green that matches. So I've actually done this seam in three portions. I've done a green section, a black section, and a green section. But um, I, what I did is I started by lining up this point and then working to here, and then I lined up this point and working to here, so then I could then do the black. That made these points placement a lot easier so then when I go to do my squares and throw my squares in here that's going to be a better corner the tags are getting in the way right now but yeah so I'm going to finish this and put this fourth one here and then I can get to the outside section so I've attached the fourth side so now this is what I have in the center and now I'm going to attach my corner sections so I've added the corners and now I've completed my B9 block.